Lord Nuffield is giving 5,000 mechanical lungs to save lives threatened by infantile paralysis. The great philanthropist will spend half a million pounds in this cause. I sincerely hope that my gift will be the means of saving many valuable lives. At the Lord Mayor Trelaw Cripples Hospital, the iron lung has been successfully used. Now here, the senior medical officer of the LCC. Infantile paralysis is caused by a very tiny germ which affects parts of the spinal cord. According to the part affected, different muscles are thrown out of action. Usually, it is the arm or the leg, and that is bad enough, but occasionally the muscles of respiration are affected. And this, of course, means that unless some form of artificial respiration is immediately available, the patient will die. During the big epidemic in Australia, Professor Burstall made a jacket type of respirator. He sent one to us, and we are experimenting with it and trying to improve it. There is no question that it will fill a much felt want, as it makes nursing and attention to the paralyzed limbs very much easier. The Bath lung, invented by an Australian, Edward Bath, is the type Lord Nuffield will manufacture. Electrically driven bellows, regulated to the speed and pressure required by the patient, pump air into and extract it from the mechanical lung. Nurses can attend to the patient by means of these portholes, which have a rubber diaphragm so that the pressure is not reduced when the hand is inside. At the top, there's an inspection window. 